Now that you had some basic training on how to create sketches, uh, let's start uh, learning how to model based on sketch profiles. So what you see here is a sketch profile of a bicycle rocker design. And you'll see there's some circles, there's some arcs, there's some lines, a uh, rectangle, and whatnot. And uh, we're going to use all of this to design the, the geometry of our rocker. Uh, of a rocker part. So let's select the, the profiles that we want to um, start with. So let's select the outer the outer circle profile of that. Let's select the, the middle body, the outer circle profile of the bottom circle, and then this the one on the right. So now you should have um, all of the profiles selected except for the three middle circles as well as the rectangle on the bottom. And uh, to select all of them, just hold shift and that will add on to your selection. So now um, you, let's right click and select the extrude command. And what we want to do is use this profile and extrude it to the, these two outer lines here. So let's go over to the command dialog to the right side here and let's change the direction from one side to two side. And let's leave our operation as new body, but let's change the extents from distance to two. And now let's click the left arrow once. So let's click the list left arrow. Let's click it once, and then let's go over to the line and click on the end, one of the endpoints of the line. Doesn't matter which one, but click on one of the endpoints where there's a white dot, and that will extrude uh, the left side to that line or to that endpoint. So let's repeat the same thing on the other side, on the right side. Let's uh, let's click on this arrow, and then let's click on an endpoint, and we get our extrusion. And now let's click OK to confirm, and now we have our extruded body based on that sketch profile. So now let's uh, let's keep going, and uh, let's go over to the sketch folder in the browser, and. Notice that sketch one, the light bulb is off. So let's turn it back on so we can see the, the sketch profile here. And then let's go over to the view cube and click on front view. This will allow you to look at the sketch dead on. Um, and if, if you don't see a dead on, make sure you go to the display setting and go to camera and select perspective with ortho faces. So this will allow you to see 3D geometry in perspective view and 2D geometry in this ortho view, which makes it really easy to, uh, to model. So now let's select this far right circle profile, select it, and uh, let's repeat the extrude command. So either you can go up and say repeat extrude, or you can go back down and find the extrude command, and now we have the extrude command um, ready to go. Now let's go back to the home view so we can see the arrow, and this time we're going to drag this out uh, and uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna actually have it so that the direction is symmetric. We want this to go both ways. And instead of operation that of a new body, we're gonna select join, and we're gonna drag this out to about 20, 20 millimeters. And uh, let's leave extent to distance, and let's click OK. So now what I did is I added additional geometry from that circular profile, but I've also joined it to the existing body. So on both sides, you see the, um, you see the body created. Now we're going to create a counterbore hole here, but we're going to use a cylinder command to do that. So let's go to Create. Uh, drop down and click on cylinder and now it's gonna ask us where to put the cylinder so let's click the outer surface of this model that we're that we're creating so make sure that outer surface is highlighted white or gray and then click it and now we're in the placement uh, the placement mode so let's hover to the center of that hole and make sure you you have that snap to the center uh, and then let's drag this out to about 24 millimeters. And if, if you can't get it exactly 24 when you're dragging, you can also enter the value. So enter 24, press enter once, that will lock the value, and then press enter again to confirm the, uh, to confirm the placement. So now uh, we can now determine the depth of this cylinder or how, how thick it is. Um, we can use the manipulator or we can enter a value again. So let's drag this arrow inward uh, which will then result in a cut. And as soon as it intersects with the body, 
it's going to assume that it's going to cut. So let's drag this inward to about negative 10, negative 10 millimeters. Uh, and then operation is cut, which is what we want. And then let's click OK. So now we just use a cylinder to cut out a body, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and now what we want to do is do the same thing on the other side. But I don't want to make another cylinder. So I'm going to use the mirror command. And to do that, I'm going to go to Modify, and then, actually, no, it's going to be in Create. You're going to go to Mirror, and this is going to ask you what object or feature do you want to mirror. I'm going to go down to my uh, history, my timeline at the bottom here. I'm going to click on the Cylinder feature once, and then I'm going to go over to the Command dialog and click on Mirror Plane. Then I'm going to select the middle plane that's in the middle of the body, which is this one. And if you're having trouble selecting the, the plane, you can, also, you can also hover over the plane, click and hold the click until this dropdown shows up. And this will allow you to choose exactly what you want to use as the mirror plane. So we're going to use that middle plane there, so as the work plane. And uh, now, as you can see, that feature is previewed on the other side. I'm going to say OK, and now we have our mirror. So um, the other th now the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a, make a through hole and uh, punching through this, this circle profile here. Now again, we're going to use a cylinder command. So let's go to create, and let's select cylinder. And now let's select the, uh, this, this uh, inner surface of the, of the circle that we want to use which is here, so let's click that. And then again, let's snap to the middle. So snapping to the middle, and then click once, drag out, and let's give this value of a 10 millimeters here. And then let's press Enter to lock, press Enter again to confirm, and then let's just drag this all the way through. And uh, now you can see it's all the way through to the other side. This is a cut, and let's say OK. And now we've got our uh, three holes that are properly properly uh, modeled. So now what we're going to do is going to use this rectangle profile at the bottom to make the cut all the way uh, through the model from bottom to up. So we're going to select this rectangle. We're going to right click and go to extrude. This time we're going to change the operation first and make this into a cut and change the extent from distance to all. And what this will do is cut through the entire body um, all the way through. So let's click OK, and now we have our cut. So now let's go back to our sketch uh, sketch one, and let's turn that off so that we don't, we don't have to see it anymore. And now, as a finishing touch, we're going to apply some fillets to the two inner edges here. So I'm going to select one of these edge. I'm going to hover over. I'm going to hold shift and then select the other one. So I have the two selected. I'm going to right click on one, and then I'm going to choose fillet. And now I'm going to just drag the arrow inward. Um, or actually, let's pull it out, <laughs> and uh, pull it out to about 2.5 millimeters, and that looks about right. Click OK, and now we have our bicycle rocker model, uh, purely based off of the sketch that, uh, that was given to us. So there you have it. That's, a, that's how you would do some really basic modeling and some extrusions. And uh, yeah, hope this was helpful. Thanks.